Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Belvis. Thank you for joining this morning to break the fast. We are going to begin this morning in John chapter 8, starting at verse 8. And it reads, Then he stooped down again and continued writing on the ground. When they heard this, they left one by one, starting with the older men. Only he was left with the woman in the center. When Jesus stood up, he said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, Lord, she answered. Neither do I condemn you, said Jesus. Go and from now on, do not sin any more. So um, I have read John chapter 8, starting at verse 8 through 11. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me. And I want us to reflect today and just think about um, forgiveness. Okay, being forgiving, being forgiven is such a beautiful thing. We get another opportunity, we get another chance, we get um, to, to, to do it right, to, um, to make better choices, to um, begin anew. And so being forgiven is, is a great and beautiful thing. But when people um, lord it over you or hold it over you and they don't want to let it go and they want to to put this label or or uh, on you maybe of your sin like this woman is caught in a very act of adultery but yet the man was nowhere to be found but she was going to be stoned um <clears throat> excuse me um but and we we have that bad you know uh, about just holding it over people, you know, um, if someone stole something, we say, oh, they're a thief, you know, or um, so we need to be careful about, um, you know, if God has forgiven you, um, don't don't allow people to hold that over you because God has given you another chance. God has um, redeemed your life and just like in this um, 11th verse, uh, he said, no, uh, she, he asked her, well, she answered, no one, Lord. Um, and he said, neither do I condemn you, said Jesus. Go and from now, now on, do not sin anymore. There is the newness of life right there. There is the opportunity to um, get it right, to change and to begin a new right there. And so don't allow people to hold it over you that uh, you, you've you sinned. And, and I know in this society today, we look at adultery and um, we, we've kind of put it on one of those high sins that, you know, it's like, don't be around that person or whatever. Um, but people sin, people sin, and it's not, and it's many different types of sin. Um, and, but Jesus paid for it all. And, um, and when we come to him and we and confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us uh, from all unrighteousness. So be encouraged today that, um, don't allow people to to hold it over you. Know that you are forgiven um, and you have another opportunity. And what I want us to reflect on is let's look at ourselves. Let's look at ourselves. Do we find it difficult to extend grace to people um, who have sinned a certain type of sin? Maybe that it really gets to us, maybe because it might be something personal. It might be adultery. Uh, it might be someone stole something. It might be murder. It may be whatever the sin may be. Do we find it difficult to forgive others um, or do we hold it against them? How um, have his mercy and grace changed um, your heart? Uh, and the way that you respond to others who have sinned or who stumbled in their lives. So how has God's grace toward you um, changed your heart and how you respond to people who have um, stumbled or who have sinned, maybe against you, maybe against your family, maybe, I, I don't know. But I want us to reflect on that today and think about it because as 
believers, we need to be forgiven and we need to let it go and trust God that he he knows what he's doing and he knows what's best. So we have broken our fast. We have um, uh, looked into the word of God. We reflected and kind of thought about the scripture. Now allow the Holy Spirit to speak to your heart today as he chooses to speak to you. So I thank you for joining me in breaking the fast this morning. And I encourage you to continue to walk uh, your walk out today with the Holy Spirit leading and guiding you in every way. So remember, love like God loves you and you are special no matter what you are going through and no matter what you have been through. I will see you on the next episode.